Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Nice to uh, be able to catch our breath a little bit after that breathtaking wind last night. We're going to go over some numbers for you. Uh, like I said, we're not going to get rid of the wind completely. It's just not to the magnitude that we had last night. However, that could change again going into the weekend as another storm system looks very similar to the one that we just went through uh, last night. That one arrives Friday into Saturday. We look downtown tonight and all we've had this evening, some very light flurries and some sprinkles. Uh, temperature right now 33 and that wind is still a little perky out of the west at uh, 17 miles an hour. But nothing compared to these wind gusts. Dexter, which is where the um, airport is in Watertown, 78 mile per hour wind gust. That is crazy. Dunkirk out in western parts of New York State, 74 mile per hour wind gust. Closer to home, the top of the tug got to 60 miles an hour. Tully, just south of Cuse along Route 20, higher elevation gusting close to 60. And Rome, uh, near 50 mile per hour gusts and a little bit lower. Uh, into Herkimer. Thankfully, nothing like that tonight. However, we have new advisories of a different variety, and that is of the snow variety. Lake effect snow advisory and a lake effect snow warning east of Lake Ontario. That is because we are expecting significant lake effect snow, and we're already seeing the beginnings of that here as we go uh, into the overnight. So basically, northern half of Oneida County, say like north of Route 49, could be one to three inches. The extreme northern parts of Oneida County uh, could have three to six, and then at the very top of the Tug Hill uh, could have six to 12 by the time we get into the day tomorrow. Take a look at radar in a moment. But first, temperatures now are in the low 30s, down to the south into Otsego County, Edmiston. Uh, over to Hartwick and Cooperstown in the low 30s and up north, uh, falling into the 20s here. Not much going on locally, but right away off to the north, you can see how the lake effect snow is getting organized, uh, flirting with uh, Florence, the southern parts of Lewis County, the Tug Hill. Uh, a little bit of banding going on here, so there is some enhancement to this lake effect snow band, and that's where it's going to reside tonight. So that's where it will really pile up as we head through the day on Thursday. So the old storm system moving away up into Atlantic Canada. The next one coming into the west coast here, you can see snow breaking out Salt Lake City into Nevada. That's the next storm system uh, for the weekend. And then we go way out into the Pacific Ocean. Look at this curly cue south of the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, another storm that we're watching for mid next week. So there's the lake effect snow up north tonight, just a few flurries locally, and then through the day tomorrow, just some general light snow moving on through. This is gonna be like a coating to an inch, but up north, that's where the most significant lake effect snow will be. Through the day on Friday, it is cloudy, but it's dry most of the day. We will start to see the wind ramp up again by Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and at that point, a little bit of messy weather with a burst of wet snow over to wintry mix, very similar to what we just had to deal with last night. Then we focus our attention to the weekend as the strong Arctic cold front comes through and the Great Lakes open for business, man. So southern and western parts of New York State, including Orchard Park for the big game this weekend, could be fun. A little snowy, windy, cold, and straight east of the lake. And wherever this lake effect band sets up this weekend, it is going to be significant. So snowmobilers, head to the tug. They'll be grooming the trails up there for sure. All right, so tonight, just a few snow showers around. Have your lake effect snow to the north. Temperatures near 30. Through the day tomorrow, cloudy. Still a bit blustery at times, but nothing more than some light snow showers and flurries. Uh, temperatures in the upper 30s. But remember, all the while up north, significant lake effect snow. Here's your seven day forecast. So again, we're watching that snowy system coming in Friday night, but temperatures again will be going up. So snow will go to a wintry mix and rain into Saturday morning in the taper. Strong gusts developing again with afternoon scattered snow showers developing 
Then that powerful Arctic cold front comes through, lines up the lake effect snow, and ushers in the coldest air so far this year. But it's only 10 days old. Oh. But anyway, temperatures are only like 19 uh, on Tuesday, and uh, some significant lake effect snow probably north of the thruway. All right, thanks, Craig. Yep. Sounds good. Still to come on Eyewitness News, first at 10, I believe Brennan Miller is talking all things AHL All-Stars, right, Brennan? Well, maybe just one all-star for the Utica Comets. They were also up in Laval tonight playing against the Rocket trying to break, or break, excuse me, my break and snap there and just got brack. Uh, trying to break a eight-game losing streak. We've got the score from that one coming up in sports right after this.